With my experience in the stock market and in the mining sector, I feel that it's the time to accumulate stocks of gold and silver mining companies because both gold and silver have been staying strong and may soon break their resistances. On the other hand, gold and silver mining stocks are dirt cheap. Even the best companies are selling at a huge discount. You don't need to go far back to see how the gold and silver stocks behave when the market sentiment turns bullish. In March 2020, many silver and gold stocks went up by 1000%. That is like 10 times of their previous lows. So you can see these charts here. That's one of the example I'm showing you. I bought a bunch of stocks, gold and silver, way before the sudden unexpected 2020 market crash. So I bought the stock in November 2019, but missed the opportunity to buy the stocks at their lowest price during COVID-19 sudden lockdown. But still my portfolio was up by more than 200% during that bull run, which lasted for like for about six months. So I believe that bull run is going to start soon. And we can see uh, in gold and silver through technical analysis that silver is making higher lows. And uh, we see that it's in kind of uptrend mode. I believe that the bull ride is going to be very bumpy. And there are going to be opportunities for for both long-term and short-term investors and traders. So make your plans based on your investing style and comfort level. David Hunter mentioned in his video, link in the description below, that the upcoming stock melt-up that is imminent soon will cause the gold to go north in the $3,000 range and silver to $60 range. And that kind of move alone can make most of the silver and gold stocks go up by around 200% and some of them will be 10x like during the 2020 bull run so one example there are actually many but uh, i'm just showing you this one example that was a stock and i'm going to talk about this one also so you can see that in the previous bull run so it started from low of two cents or actually 1.5 cents and it went to here 33.5 cents how long did it take to go to that value from the bottom was march 2020 and the top was around january 2021 so it's like nine months but there were it didn't go straight up so you can see this first phase and the second uh, leg was not too explosive but then the third one which started from november 2020 when the market saw real recovery it was so parabolic it went from eight cents to 34 35 cents so in uh, even even from eight cents to 35 cents like four times but yeah if somebody entered at this point 1.5 cents you can imagine how much they would have gained by just holding a stock that is just an exploration company okay and there are many companies like this so this kind of huge returns can be achieved if you are entering early and we can see from this chart here that we are again in the same kind of price range and it's a great opportunity for us people to like have this gain in a short period of time you know as david hunter mentioned that the gain that you are going to expect in this upcoming run david hunter forecasted that a huge long commodity cycle will start in 2024 that the price of gold and silver will both go high and we can uh, benefit from this run what i'm trying to do is just find the stocks at their lowest price and uh, nowadays is a great opportunity to buy at the lowest possible price you can see it's like heavily oversold and nobody is interested when the mainstream media talks about market and gold going up then everybody will be will be paying attention and there will be like fomo everybody would like to buy and then that will spike the price up like this once is highly it's very likely that is going to happen because the stock has been stock market has been beaten down since 2021 compared to gold and silver most of the stocks are like more than 50 percent down even the companies that are very good they are also down by 30 40 50 percent that's a great opportunity okay so um what i'm doing i'm like spending spending countless hours on researching the mining stocks so all of us can get the best deals before everyone else want to buy because that's how you minimize the losses and maximize maximize the gain. So if you are still hearing my voice, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos on the relevant topics. 
okay some of the stocks that i have i'm going to talk about in this video i have already shared those in my last video which i made a few months ago but i was a bit hesitant to post that but uh, here i'm also going to post the updated version of basically some of them because this video is about five stocks that are under five cents so in my last video there were stocks that were above five cents this one is going to be only the stocks that are under five cents now let's talk about the five lowest market silver mining stocks that are hugely undervalued and trading under five cents so one of them is klondike silver corp is listed on the tsx venture exchange under the symbol ks okay so today the company closed at three cents okay and has a market cap of 7.86 million dollars in january 2021 it reached a peak price of 33.5 cents site okay so that's their website klondike silver primarily owns a hundred percent interest in the slocan silver camp that covers an area of approximately 116 square kilometers located in the southeastern british columbia slocan silver camp includes past producing sylvana wonderful and hinkley mines together with other past producing mines and exploration properties 68 of 173 past producing mines are located on klondike silver's slocan land package these 68 mines process 2.1 million tons of ore including silver 40.4 million ounces and 349 million ounces of uh, 349 million pounds of lead and 159 million pounds of zinc so uh that's a good uh, that's a good project the silvana silver mine was the largest of 68 historical producers in the klondike silver land package over 500,000 tons of rock were processed yielding 7.8 million ounces of silver 63.3 million pounds lead and 58 million pounds zinc the average sylvana production grade was 13.87 ounce per ton of silver which is really good and 5.62 percent lead and 5.15 percent zinc according to their latest news release on june 22 2003 their drill program is still underway which started in 2022 the company is exploring from underground the western extension of sylvana mine along with the main load the main load is a nine kilometer vein structure which is the most prolific mineralized structure in the silicon mining camp the company has drilled like five holes and four of the holes intersected the main vein structures according to their news their core logging is underway and intervals of core have been marked for sampling and will be sent to an independent lab for analysis they are still drilling more holes the second company that i'm going to talk about is orex mineral go to their home page okay so orex mineral is listed on tsx venture exchange under the symbol rex and ormnf at in the otc markets the stock of orex mineral last traded at 2.5 cents and has a market cap of 4.68 million dollars the three-year high price of orex was 30.5 cents during the 2016 bull market it reached the peak price of one dollar 38 cents and during the 2008 to 2011 bull market the stock traded above two dollars that's like too much to expect in the short term but uh, we can see here during covid 19 it the lowest it went was four cents and then from 4 cent it went to 30 cent so it's like seven times on 12th june it hit the lowest price of of 1.5 cents that is still at the rock bottom prices even lower than their price in 2020 so and still the company is continuing their work this kind of thing is expected when is uh, when the stock market gold silver sector enters the huge the commodity bull run that uh, experts are expecting but uh, for now even this kind of gain in short term let's say in the next six months if it goes seven times it's very likely that it would go it's very likely so 
we just have to look for the opportunities and keep watching these things and the sector movement in the sector uh, and then yeah just position ourselves so i'm thinking then which one do i have to put money in so in order to get the the most out of this short term bull run that david hunter has been talking about so um, in the next like 6 months or 7 months or a year because the forecast that is like $20000 that's like a long term forecast so in the near term if it hits if the gold hits 30 $3000 and silver hits $60 that will be a very good you know return in one year okay so uh, realistic and realistic which by seeing uh, the close seeing the past patterns okay so uh, let's talk a little bit about portfolio and what the company has orex mineral has a strong portfolio of assets in mexico and canada which are operated either independently or with major joint venture partners they have three main projects the sandra silver gold project is a joint venture between pan american silver which has 60% of its share and then uh, orex mineral has 40% Okay, this one is located in the heart of Mexican silver trend in northwestern Durango state, Mexico. This prolific trend hosts some of the world's largest silver camps and deposits, including Fresnillo, Guanajuato, La Petrila, La Preciosa, Real de Angeles, and Zacatecas. And we can see that here the project in the project section. Of the website that's the project we'll see basically there are three projects here jumping josephine sandra and conetto okay and that's the about sandra silver project okay and it has all the properties listed here okay so um there orex mineral has completed phase one exploration drilling program in october 2022 phase one consisted of 2665 meters in eight diamond drill holes and their second project is Conetto project it is a joint venture with Fresnillo is adjacent to the village of Conetto de Comanfort centrally positioned within the Mexican silver trend approximately 100 km north of the city of Durango Mexico then their third project is jumping Josephine project yeah this one has indicated resources of 34,000 ounce, ounces of gold this one is in the indicated resources category and 30,000 in the inferred resource category this property is located 30 km west of Castle Gur and 30 km north of the mining district of Rossland in the West Courtney region of British Columbia, Canada. And the, another interesting thing is Eric Sprott beneficially owns and controls 37 million shares of Orex, representing approximately 19.6% of the outstanding shares on a non-diluted basis. Eric Sprott is holding is for long-term investment, not for like a short-term gain of 10 or 20% because Eric Sprott has a vision of finding like multi-bagger stocks like all that can give huge returns. This is the news release which is in 2020. It was announced in August 7, 5.5 million investment by Eric Sprott. So uh, yeah, Eric Sprott, he finds value stocks and participates in private placements. And you know, he, tar he has target of like most of his stocks is like target of 10 to 20 times return that kind of target he has in his mind for these mining companies and uh, so this company uh, orex mineral also have uh, insiders a lot of uh, huge insiders holding as i was checking in there uh, in their um, uh, in their data so uh, like 4.45 uh, percent of the float is held by institutions and about 21.38 by the insiders which means that there is a huge interest in orex minerals okay the third stock i'm going to talk about is bay horse silver bay horse silver is listed on the tsx venture exchange under the symbol bhs and bhsif at otc markets 
So there are total 181.67 million issued and outstanding shares and 81 million outstanding warrants and about 11% of the total shares are held by the management which is a good sign. So the stock last closed at 1.5 cents with a market cap of 3.75 million dollars. It reached the peak price of 26 cents in May 2021. Bayhorse Silver is an exploration and production company with 100% interest in the Bayhorse Silver Mine property located in Baker County, Oregon, USA. The company also holds an option agreement to acquire an 80% interest in the Brandywine project located in British Columbia. So let's check their news releases. So last time when I was checking, they had this news that in June, uh, which was released in June 2022, that the, they were working on, they were doing some drilling and the drill hole intersected 2.75 meters of strong silver mineralization of which 0.92 meters graded 1771.58 gram per ton silver which is equivalent to 51.75 ounce per ton with the state of the art standard ore sorting technology reducing waste work entering the processing system steam by up to 85 percent the company has created minimum environmental impact facility capable of mining 200 tons of mineralization per day and the ability to process and supply 3600 tons per year of silver copper concentrate ranging between 7500 to 15000 gram per ton at its milling facility in nearby Payette County, Idaho, USA, with an offtake agreement in place with Ocean Partners UK Limited. Bayhorse Silver has been mining silver at their Bayhorse Silver Mine from the inferred N143101 resource of 292,000 tons at an average grade of 21.65 troy ounce per ton silver for a total contained silver of 6.33 million ounces. The mineralized material contains significant amount of copper and zinc. In March 2020, the company received a comprehensive structural analysis of the Behar silver mine from its longtime geological consultant. So uh, now the company uh, was finally able to access all the historic underground workings in 2022 and this allowed Dr. Conway to better understand the complexity of the geological structure. So they are still working on developing drill station. The company has taken panel samples across and down an exposed 2.5 wide and 10 feet vertical face that returned combined silver assays of 1642 gram per ton. So they are working on operations permitting. Yeah, what I think is like is this is also a good company selling at 1.5 cents. They have been able to produce silver. Behor silver 1.5 cent currently is trading last time it traded at 1.5 cent which is the five year low. It's the lowest in, uh, in, within the last five years and if we check the maximum price well the maximum price in 2008 it was trading oh it was so high it was like 3.5 but anyway um, so uh, the thing is they are still continuously working on um, expanding their resources and I think the company is in better situation than it was before and uh, when you see uh, look at the even long term charts you can see that it's heavily oversold the company and where will it go from there of course it will go up and 1.5 cents seems to be a very good deal okay and uh, during like 2021 from 20 2000 from march 2000 to in march 2000 actually in march 2000 it was five cent and now it's way more cheaper than that one so i mean it's not that this company is bad but the thing is market conditions have become so bad that uh, you know people have lost interest in the mining sector or uh, in the other way, I would say it has been being manipulated. 
you know and uh, yeah so uh, stock market is bad has been not doing has not done any like for the last 18 months is what stock market performance is like very bad so um yeah that's the thing but it uh, offers a very good opportunity i mean how low will it go from here it's already trading at such lowest price will it go to zero i mean that doesn't seems like that doesn't seem possible so one from 1.5 cents will it go one cent will it go 005 i don't think so because they are getting financing and uh, <clears throat> so they i think will be able to progress this project they have survived through this um tough market so it's going to be good the next one in my list is silver spurs resources silver spurs resources with the ticker sse listed on the tsx venture exchange and sseb in us markets okay so currently is trading at 1.5 cents in 2020 it went from 1.5 cents to the highest value it went to was 12 cents it's like at least nine times gain okay okay so let's talk about the company first so this is currently the market cap is three million dollars they it has about 200 million shares outstanding so it doesn't have a big float okay what else the company is doing silver spurs has signed definitive agreements to acquire 100 percent of the Malshet Lake Zinc Gold Silver Project in Northern Ontario, 100% interest in the Mystery Gold Project near recent discoveries by Sokoman Mineral Corp and Newfound Gold Corp, among others in the Exploits Subzone Gold Belt, which is in Newfoundland and Labrador. And it also has, let's go to um, their projects. So um, it also has another project. And it has 100% interest in the Pinot de Plata Silver Project located 15 kilometers west of Coer Mining's Palmarejo Mine in Western Chihuahua, Mexico. And up to 15% interest in Colibri Resources Diamante Gold Silver Project located in Sonora, Mexico. So these are all their projects. Silver Spurs recently signed a 50-50 joint venture agreements with Colibri on the nearby Jackie Gold project. Okay, so that's the Jackie Gold project. Okay, so um, they're also working on the drilling, some sampling. Um, so they completed, Silver Spurs completed further gold grain intel sampling and soil geochemical sampling in January 16, 2023. Greg Davison, Silver Spurs Vice President of Exploration and Director, said in the news release that widely spaced gold grain intel sampling, frequency, size, and shape distribution data have identified anomalous sizes with greater than 20 gold grains on each of three properties, Maryland, Till East, and Mystery. Okay, so they are also doing some financing and they are able to get financed so um, yeah um, also the company uh, completed phase one exploration drilling program on diamante property during 2022 and increased 200 and intersected 257.6 gram per ton silver equivalent over 12 12 meters at El Pilado and 312.8 gram silver equivalent over 9 meters at La Prieta. The fifth one on my watch list is Rio Silver. That's the homepage of Rio Silver. It's a Canadian junior mining company focused on advanced stage precious metal project in Peru. It's listed on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol RYO and RYOOF in OTC markets okay so uh, how is it trading let's see so we are looking at the uh, five-year chart of rio silver rio silver closed at 3.5 cent and has a very low market cap of 2.6 million dollars we can see it here total shares outstanding 83 million dollars so it's a very it just has a very low float and um, trading at 3.5 cents okay so it was on my uh, this has been on my last watch list for a long time 
and uh, I also checked their corporate presentation, latest interviews. Uh, it seems to me that it's like a it's a great in the investment opportunity in an, in anticipation of an increasingly more favorable precious metal bull market. The price of Rio silver, if you see the maximum, yeah, I mean less like 2008, 2000. We are not able to see the maximum price, but yeah, in some, I think I checked it on the Yahoo. The price was in during 2008 to 2011 bull market. The price reached 1.65 dollars. But yeah, this um, like in 2008 to 11 bull market, the stocks were were like trading at much higher prices uh, than they are now. But uh, yeah, I mean, even if you take a look at the recent upwards move from March 2020 till uh, till February 2021, so it was very low actually. It was like point. Point one, the lowest was lowest was on the uh, in the week of March nine, and it went to one cent, and from one cent it reached to a peak of the peak of eleven cents. So again, one thousand percent gain with this stock. So uh, yeah, currently it's, uh, it's not as low. Uh, yeah, the lowest it went was in February twenty twenty three, which was one point five cents, and now is. 3.5 cents so it has increased quite a bit like more than doubled it has more than doubled since February 2023 which means that there is a great interest in this one and the price is not going down okay so um, yeah the trading volume is quite low so people are not selling it those whoever is holding this stock is not selling it so it has when we see this the project of rio silver their corporate presentation is there in a recent interview the president of rio silver said his name is chris verico so he said that the payday is coming soon as the diamond drills are set to start running at their 100 percent owned flagship nino nino bamba Pro silver Nino Bamba Silver Gold Project in Peru. So he also provide an update on N upcoming N43101 report for Nino Bamba and continue, continuing work at the Plata Dorado joint venture property in with the Peruvian metals. So um, let's check at the project. This is like their project. One is in Peru, Nino Bamba Silver Gold Project, in Gero Lake, Gero Lake Project, Plata Dorada. So let's see what Nino Bamba has. Okay, so Nino Bamba Project hosts two discrete precious metal deposits at the opposite ends of eight kilometer prospective corridor in prolific precious metal hosting geological belt in central Peru. That's the Nino Bamba, Nino Bamba property. Property. The company has modeled two world-class resource targets, where previously the company Newmont Mining and others have spent of about more than like close to 10 million US dollar for evaluation of this mineralized trend. The silver-rich Nino, Nino Bamba main zone and south zone are drill ready. And the company geologists have targeted the near surface silver and gold mineral mineralization as the potential open pit. So yeah, it's open pit, so it's not going to cost it's usually cost less open pit operation. Okay, at the end other end of this trend is Jorimina Gold Zone, which was the primary primary focus of the Newmont exploration. If you are interested, if you want me to cover other mining companies or know any other gold and silver mining stocks with the market cap under $5 billion and uh, the ones that are trading under $0.05 cents per share, then please share in the comments section below.